Hey everybody, this is uh, just a quick video to show you how to use a scanning app to upload things to MyOpenMath. I think this is, I, I kind of expected that everybody who had been through the pandemic knew how to do this, but uh, quite a few people are having trouble with it, so I uh, thought it was worthwhile getting a, a, a resource that would let you, you know, figure out how to do this. There's multiple options about how to do it, but um, the, the basic thing is we don't want to have just pictures like the if you use your cell phone to snap an image of a document you're trying to share with somebody a it's huge that's a very big file format and uh, B, it usually doesn't show the thing you want to see well so if you're looking for a professional output and I, th I think you may find this useful in your professional lives coming up uh, being able to share things that look good to with the uh, customers and with your management and stuff is is a useful thing um, so let me let me illustrate what not to do first. The first thing to I should say not to do is don't just take cell phone pictures and upload those. They're going to be big files, and there's going to be need to be many of them because you know typically like for the midterm exam there's probably seven or eight pages, um, and that's really awkward for me to navigate through. So I want you to have PDFs that I have a, a way to see them one page at a time. Um, let me show you something that a student did for book homework and that almost cuts it. What he did was take pictures and then assemble those pictures into a PDF. So you see that I can I can click on the, the thumbnails of that thing and, and go through it one page at a time. But this didn't work. I mean, he sort of followed the letter of the law. He created a multi-page PDF, but this resulting file is like 10 times as big as the size limit on, on my open math, so it wouldn't take it. Um, so, okay. So the um, the thing you need to do instead is use a scanning app, and that'll get you output that looks something like this. It's also a multi-page PDF. We've got thumbnails on the side. We can go through and look at it. I can actually add annotations right on the page. I normally wouldn't for homework, but I might do that for the exams. Um, it has PDF has a lot of, of advantages. You may notice that this is a little bit coarser looking, that the resolution of the image is smaller, grainier than than what the other thing was. But it makes up for that by having everything that's of interest, the, the page of the notebook in this case, uh, completely filling the screen and uh, seen square on. So how do we get output that looks like that? Well, we're going to want to use a scanning app and there's many choices. I'm going to show you two of them. Um, the one I use is this thing called Genius Scan. The student who, um, whose work I just showed you used Cam Scanner. I found Cam Scanner to be a little bit annoying because it, it keeps bugging me to pay for it. Um, but if you're good at ignoring annoying messages, that's, that's a fine thing to use. These two work almost identically. and I can't remember. I've had Genius Scan on my phone for a couple of years now. I don't remember if I paid for it or not. It might have been a, a paid for app, but it's not like I'm continuing to pay for it or anything. It was a one time charge. It's probably worth it. Um, anyway, there are multiple options for, for doing that. Do a little search in the Play Store or on Apple and uh, I find a, a scanning app that seems good to you. Um, the other thing I'm showing on this screen is something that's called Google Files. That's known as a file browser. You want to be able to use something that will look at the memory on board your, your cell phone and be able to access it. Um, so Google Files is a nice choice. Again, there's others. Okay, so how does this work? Well, let me pause things and I'll change the view a little bit and I'll sort of illustrate using the scanning app to create a a multi-page PDF scanned document. All right, so first you're going to want to make sure that you've got your item to be scanned laid out in such a way that there's a little bit of free space all the way around it. Um, what really is going on in the scanning app is it just looks for something that has a rectangular shape in its field of view and that it assumes that's a, a piece of paper or a page that it's trying to scan. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start up the scanning app. Genius Scan is what I'm using. Um, 
there's something else in the thing's memory that I scanned previously, but if you hit that little camera icon, uh, let me illustrate it. If it doesn't see a rectangle in its field of view, it does nothing. The, the little spinning wheel just keeps going around. But once you give it something that seems to be a rectangle, a page, it highlights it. You see how it was highlighted in orange, and then it took a, an image of it. Um, that looks like it's perfectly fine, so we'll hit accept on that. And in this case, I've got a second page to the document that I'd like to, to scan as well. In the case of um, your midterms, you may have three or four pages, maybe eight. I don't know, but that looked like it got that as well, too. So I'm just going to hit yes to that. So, yeah, we've got a two page PDF. It's, it's in the memory of Genius Scan right now, but I want to get it onto the main computer's memory. It is, <laughs> really, I want to get it onto the cell phone's memory outside of the app. Um, I'm going to it turns out there's multiple ways to do this, but the easiest from my perspective is just to share it. And because I've got the Google pay, Google Files uh, um, thing on here, one of the options to, to share it uses the device memory. And what do I got to do? I've got to choose a folder to put it in. Sure, let's put it in Documents, that folder. So I give Genius Scan permission to use that. Um, you see the little check mark in the corner? That's what you gotta hit in order to make it go and actually export the scan to the phone's memory. Cool. Uh, so, sorry, there's one thing else I might wanna do here. You see how the um, name of the file is a date stamp? It's just what day and what time was it? You might wanna give a better name for that. So I'm writing sample because this is just a sample, but you know, it could be book homework four and your last name, something like that. So now I have to share it again. Put it into the device memory in the documents folder. And hit go. Right. Okay, next up is taking that saved uh, image and putting it into my open map. I'm going to change the view of it a little bit and we'll proceed with that. All right, so I'm I'm running my open math right now on the phone in a browser. So this is um, really what you would do on your laptop or something. And maybe some of you have already used your phone to, to run my open math. It actually works pretty well, even though it's on a pretty small screen. They make some adjustments to the interface when it realizes it's on a small screen. Anyway, it seems to work. So I'm logging in as this student. I'm a dummy. <laughs> Get it? Anyway, she's. She's going to upload this to homework, book homework three. Okay. And I think I've already done this, but I'm going to do it a second time. Um, remember when you click into the one of the book homeworks, you get a what really is a, qu a quiz with a single question, and it's just a place where you can upload your file. We need to grab that file that we uploaded, and that's this is where you use the files. Um, app to get at the, the memory of the device. Now, well, there you go. <laughs> Amongst the recent files is sample.pdf. That's the thing that I just saved from GeniusScan. That's that's one approach, um, is to just click on that. I, I will mention that GeniusScan is also here as one of the apps that you can get at the stuff that's in there. So if I wanted to see either of the things that are currently stored in my GeniusScan app, I could get at them that way. Anyway, the point of Oh, use my file with files. Where'd it go? Um, yeah, let's add that sample.pdf and submit the question. Okay, and we are done. Uh, if I, maybe I should show you what this looks like from me as the professor's perspective. But you know, it's uh, it's pretty easy to, to do. I'll now go to that student uh, section of the gradebook, and I'll be able to just click on the thing, and then page through their, their work and grade it. So um, this is what you want to get done to, to, to A, make me a little bit happier, and uh, B, you know, make sure that I can see well the stuff that you, you're submitting. Um, and it's also, as I said before, I think it's a, a, a useful skill to have to develop for your professional lives in the future, making good uh, scanned 
documents is, is a good thing. All right, have a great rest of your day. And, um, well, see ya. <laughs>